Hey there guys, welcome back to the Let's Play Duncan Rapa 2. Uh, last time we determined that we're kind of dying. We're, we're starving to death, and it's not good. It's not okay. So we are about to go challenge the final dead room. Meaningless. <laughs> what a pity. I haven't sort of gotten serious yet. Regardless, if I ever decided to get serious with this body, you wouldn't even last a second. Not yet. Yeah, let's try one more time. Hold on. Better not. You exert yourself too much. I haven't eaten in a while, after all. Don't remind me. I was finally able to forget about food. Oh. Well, you're really lucky since you can still live even if you don't eat. Uh, hey. You, know, you have that body now. Does that mean you can do it with electricity? Do it to me with electricity? Wouldn't it feel so much more amazing with electricity than with your bare hands? <laughs> I guess I got no choice. You and your body won't be able to live without it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure they reduced my walking speed for this. I think I move slower. That's a really nice effect. Um, it, it's, it just re-cements and makes you more understanding of the situation that the people are in. Okay, here we go. The final dead room. Don't see anyone else. And like I said, I'll talk to anyone I see, but I'm not going to go seeking people out. So it wobbled and tripped over my feet. I couldn't help but hold a hand on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game, I'll be able to get that octagon place, right? That's, that's where the exit's got to be. I, I, fi I finally figured out where the exit is. I, that seems way too bloody obvious. I can get out with this. I can finally get out. Cause it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. I was actually just thinking, I can't believe something is called the Final Dead Room and is a, like, um, survival game and Chiaki kept away from it. She's gotta be chomping at the bit. That's not true. This exit's gonna be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. If you clear, it's only obtain the weapon that Monokuma repaired. Do you want that weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Aw, oh, she cares about me! Or cares about keeping me from getting a weapon, one of the two. Chiaki and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. I'm on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really just okay to lay here and take it? Or... This morning I couldn't help feeling angry that... I said what I said in front of everyone, but... I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I... I need to do something. I need... to do... something. And then all of a sudden... I began to feel faint, and I lost consciousness. Huh? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? Maybe I'm just confused. As I mumbled that, I'm exhausted the feeling of the ambivalence towards everything being overpowered by my Wow, they're actually selling this really well. So there's a shake that happened. And once again, I sing into the depths of unconsciousness. Gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There's saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny, expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really just lives in a run-down apartment, and he has a cause, probably because he doesn't have a stable job or a money. He wants to show off that much, he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes of furniture for his moving job. At night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. Even with that, he still doesn't have enough money to sponge off his parents back home. As that fancy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad. About myself. What? That was the like most nonsensical monocoupe event ever. My body.
body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold, so the core of my body's getting numb. I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had and crawl out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. It's already five minutes to seven. I, mean, I don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore the rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. I don't even have the energy to complain. Oh, I was hoping I could save energy by not actually walking, but it forces you to walk anyway. So what was that crash? I, I, should I curse like super? I see, Mick. Good morning. So, you seem energetic. <laughs> What's so Amazing. funny? Amazing! Mick, when did your face become more blank all of a sudden? She's not. She's extremely dangerous. Just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? Wait, what? Um. You'd get a stomach ache. <laughs> Uh, now there's a durable, adorable shortcake. That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you, are you about to head over to Great Tower? I, that must have been a reference to food that I missed. Because I don't know much about food. Yep. It's almost time. Don't, if you're slow, we'll be late. Well, I was going to be late. I'll talk to you again. Bro. As you, about a little obsession, your, your face was like a side of tort. And I told you for a bite near the center. I shall repay the pay, favor later. See? Okay, so nothing more from talking to them. And I always lose the tower. There it is. Grape Hall. I'm surprised there's not... There may be a body in here. So it instantly opened, so it was most recently Grape Tower. Oh, is this... Is this the body? I thought there would be one. Because they pushed this about as far as they can. I actually sort of thought he would either be the killer or the victim, because it didn't seem like they could push that all that far. You know, his character seemed like sort of like f in its final ev evolution. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. All right, we have found a, a body has been discovered. A body has been discovered. Okay, he does the voice better than I do, but I didn't do bad. Well, then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. A violent shiver forced through my body. Do we get food now? in the pound faster, and I could feel the blood in my heart pulsing intently. My teeth were chattering with horror. Who else is in here? What the hell is this? I was sleep, my voice sounds so small I can barely hear it myself. Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. If there's a nightmare, please let me wake up. I can't think of any other way to describe it. Yeah, you can even eat him. You should be glad that he's the one. Wait, that doesn't make sense, because he's going to get food now anyway. Nikuma, 
No, this is a lie, right? Based on the situation and by discovery announcement. Unfortunately, but there's no doubt another killing has happened. So we are the three that discovered the body. Which definitely means that they entered this room from Grape Tower. In fact, I see a big old lock on the cherry door. Strawberry door. I can't deny the truth, but why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Akane. Move. Why? Why is Nekomaru? Why did he have to die again? Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> I will just tell you, I have not investigated yet. I'm sure that my thoughts will come together more clearly as I investigate, but I'm immediately suspicious of Akane, Soda, um, Sonia, and Chiaki. And the reason is because we came in from Grapeside, and so there's no real reason for anyone to be on this side. Ex. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That lock on the door doesn't make sense unless it's meant to confuse us and reaffirm the fact we came up graveside. It's totally possible that they could have come in from Strawberry side, killed him, come over here, press the button in order to make the room grape, but never actually walked in. How cruel! Th this is too much. Why did Nekomaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try and stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't stop? Damn it! Hey, Nicomaro got killed, right? And that's what, it means what I think I it means, right? Forgive you. Who did, who killed Nicomaro? Looks like someone's finally Damn pumped you. up. Y you know who did it? Who killed Nicomaro? What do you want? <laughs> Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I should be the one who should be mad. So a lot of trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead, and they already let the killer break him! How disappointingly foolish! Maybe you had a few screws loose? You know, because he's a robot? You talking about Nekomaru? Uh, yes, he's talking about Nekomaru. Uh, Akane, calm down. Now those powers your anchor has awoken for the investigation! Monica, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. As the last time this happened, it was my fault, but this time the killer's one of you guys. So I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <laughs> I, I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. In other words, a life that dies once will never return twice, and <laughs> that's the reality for you. So, even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual routine. <laughs> Also, this is a gift for me to you. Bread and milk. I was going to say, he needs to feed us, because we're all on the ver- We can't do an investigation if we're, like, dying. <laughs> I bought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. <laughs> Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys will probably won't take- Won't last long enough for the class trial. Damn it. I'll definitely find out who killed Kurt Nekomaru. I won't forgive you. After I kill that guy, you're ne I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I want to eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. <laughs> but right, if we're going to avenge Me Mechamaru... I love that name! I love Mechamaru! Look, we have to regain as much energy as we can. See? Come on, Hajime, you, you too. I wanted to eat something for so long. I never expected to feel this terrible when I finally ate hey, again. Hey! <laughs> eat it slowly, it'd be better if you had a stomach ache! Start to slowly regain the feeling through my numb body. Isn't that wonderful? And looks like you got your energy back. Let's hurry up and start already. Do it. The killer and you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However, Re regardless whether we start or not, what's happened to the other? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in the Strawberry House? I didn't mention it. No one else is here. 
That's they, they should have got a great tower because we had Malakuba Tai Chi. Unbelievable. Yeah, how unacceptable. Well, it's probably got that lock on the door. I'm supposed to say, all of you to dish Malakuba Tai Chi. Honestly, that's way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Does everyone include do us too? Do your best. <laughs> now do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. I, I hear um, something. Huh? Could, could it be Nekobaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's he's already dead. Yo. Now, now's not the time to worry about that. Um. What about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? Huh. Or should anyway? Now's not time to worry about them. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, clue time. The dude's Nekumaru Nide, aka Mekamaru, after his robot transformation. It was discovered the Grape Tower, which is inside the Funhouse. So this is really damaged beyond repair, so it's helping insert the cause of death. Yeah, it looks like somebody, like, took a sledgehammer to it. In fact, his arms and legs are dismembered. These arms are actually designed to be detachable, and seems they are separated due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged, so this many of his functions seem to have shut down. His arms and legs are detachable, it looks like they separated due to severe impact. I mean, Nekomaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon, but was there a reason they clubbed him over and over again? What's the, the door at the far back is a chain wrapped around the doorknob. It's like a sturdy metal chain. Around the doorknob for every direction, it even has a padlock on it. Why'd they do something like that? Um... Is there an alternative to locking the door with a key? In this case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from the Strawberry Hall side. Which I think maybe, uh, lose. But this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. The hammer's been carelessly left on the floor. It's like, it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cool! Perhaps this hammer's the weapon that broke Nekomaru? I do believe a weapon that size is capable of damaging Nekomaru. I don't know because there's absolutely no blood or oil or whatever that blue stuff is on it. It's, a little too, it's almost like it's new or something. It is strange, no? As, where did the killer obtain the hammer? Right now, I do not believe we have ever seen an object like this hidden somewhere. Is that the weapon? It's Necromaru's body. It's cruelly broken. It's been, it's been so severely damaged that even its head was dented. That'd be the fatal wound, right? Nekomaru's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. For Nekomaru to be this damaged, it can only be whoever attacked Nekomaru didn't hold back. Now, that's probably not the best time to think about this, but I guess Nekomaru was really transformed to a robot, huh? He used the idea, now think about it, robots are definitely unusual. It doesn't matter if he was a robot or not, either way, Nekomaru is still killed. Definitely strange, isn't it? Well, they want to kill him. They could destroy the head. Why they destroy the entire body as well? They didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all you? over. But but they went against Coach Nekum. He had to die, die easily. I just didn't fight him head on. But even then, he wouldn't leave himself open to attack. And in fact, that's the biggest mystery. Mario was even stronger if he became a robot. I can't think of anyone to be able to be of killing him. <laughs> Unless it was Ogre. Anyway, this alone is enough information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. Huh? There's something presumed back in Nekomar's neck. Yeah, that's the off switch. That's right, it's because it's functioning. 
That's right. I could have to because my other body's asleep even though I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced into sleep mode. If the killer press the button, I mean Nekomaru into sleep mode. It's so it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Nekomaru was ambushed, it still, it still wouldn't be easy. I the chest is open, but it wouldn't be much open much because the cover's all messed up. Only because Kazuichi was here, we might have been able to open it. But that could be TV doing right now. Fluid flowing out of Nekomaru's body. There's no smell. It, it seems like oil. It's going to be flowing heaviest from Nekomaru's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. It's oil. Nekomaru might be similar to normal blood in humans. Because all this oil is just proof of robot. This is a pool of robot blood. I mean, there's a whole lot of oil. Uh, it's not gonna be easy to clean up. There's a sturdy metal wire. So it looks like he was strung up. Tied to Nekomaru's left leg. Same wire tied to his arm. It looks like he was bound up or something. If they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with the robotic Nekomaru fist. Who did how are they able to bind Nekomaru? Also, the tip of this wire. Looks like we tied a loop, but what's the point of this? I guess for now, this is all I can do to investigate Nekomaru's body. Did, did you find anything? Looks like you haven't Leave found anything yet. Any clues, right? Well, I'll remember something. Just wait for it. I, there is something I thought was weird. Um, it happened early in the morning. Y you're going back that like, far? Come on, you notice it? You hear that rumbling sound? Yeah, I was wondering when we get to that. Um, I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. But that always woke me up. I went without thinking. After I did that. I didn't see anything. It looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell asleep. And again, I never found out what that sound was, but it's on my mind for a while. Yeah, that's... well, that was interesting, and that means that... No one has an alibi, basically. Except for possibly her. That actually does speak in her defense, because... She described the sound very similar to how I described the sound, and we were both in the crummy rooms, weren't we? I'll have to go check the room position, but that means she should hear it the same as I did, which means if she can describe it that accurately, it increases the possibility that she did legit hear the same thing I did. Hmm. You know, either... Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I am in my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It says around 5.30 a.m. I think the moment was happening that early in the morning. I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Why? I went to trouble remembering that, and you still got nothing? You're so damn useless. Chiaki? Huh? huh? What was this? Well? Under neck. No. Wait. There are small rock like fragments underneath Nekomaru's body. And, what do you mean? What are rock like fragments? Hmm? Look, a lot of these small fragments, it's like they fell out, fell under Nekomaru's body. Well? Oddly enough, these fragments are underneath Nekomaru's body. There are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's stri- is there a problem they're not on top of the body? Yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably needs to be that important. So there's pillar frag- pillar fragments? Oh, I didn't even notice this pillar was down. On tower floor, there appear to be many lights beneath. There's something very strange about this pillar, though. Thank you. 
Okay, that's where I had to look. Unless the door is tipped over and broken. Is it going to break when it fell over? That's that the strange liquid on the upper surface of the pillow. Is that Nekomaru's oil? That's probably what actually did the dent. It's the only pillow that's tipped over. The other one's still standing. Plus, behind me is the door to Great Hall. Two pillows on the inside of that door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. And this pillow is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. Huh. I see, I got it. Leave it to me. This pillar's the weapon. He'll use this to beat up Coach Nekamaru. The, the huge pillar? He gets socked by something like this. Even Coach Nek Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Well, that's it's you have the will of the weapon. I should grab that in over there. I'm gonna do it! We've tried out obviously. Come on, hurry up! I didn't realize she was voice acting too. Whoops. My body can take it. Power. Time's free. Nope, just give it up already. Why? So it won't even budge. Do I can't even with this pillow? This is possibly used as a bludgeoning weapon. Hmm. Only one person that could lift something like this. Robocop's neck. He definitely is the only one. You seem lost in thought. Mm -hmm. The final dead room. Why are you bringing that place all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. The hem of the floor is a chain wrapped around the door in the far back. And the wire that tied up Nekamaru. All the other crime scene consists of things we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, there's no doubt they came from somewhere in the building. Yep. If so, if you think of that place like an armory, that's where the killer obtained the tools, right? Mm -hmm. But then let us go and confirm it. Now this, if you go there to play the life-threatening game, well? then I'll be the one who tries to confirm, confirm it. You were the one who said that place was dangerous, you? right? It's, no, I can't focus on all this noise. It's not like that. It's not like it's not you guys. There's a sound that's been ringing since before the investigation started. Hey, hey. What what kind of sound is it? Um. It's this high-pitched alarm clock sound. Probably ringing from upstairs. Then, I still wait here, but please be careful, you two. Hey. Well, this sounds. I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Okay. Yeah. We we get we get that. I was actually aware of that yep. or not. And we'll talk to Sonia, because I have not done that yet. <laughs> I shall with you with Akane. Please be careful when you both go around. My walking speed has increased. Now I'm curious about this. Can they not come through here? Well, I've been pressing this button several times, but nothing's happening. It's like the elevator isn't moving. Huh? You're, there's no response when you press the button. Hey, hey. Perhaps there's a reason the others can't make it to this side? D do you think the elevator's out of order? That might be why they can't come here if they want to. Well, for now, let's go find where that sound is coming from. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. I do think it's strange, but you're right. We should check out where the sound's coming from first. Now I definitely hear the sound. No question about that. Okay. I guess. Do you have anything to say? Can I just talk to you? Yep. Then next time we go upstairs, we go to the final dead room, and we probably get to the trial. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm sorry this episode came up so late today. I just did not have time to record last night. So I had to actually. I'm actually on my lunch break from work. <laughs> Whoops. See you next time, guys.